Hello again, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another episode in Paul's letter from lockdown, uh, the book of Philippians. We're beginning a new section today in which Paul's going to tell us how the church can be something really beautiful in a world that's often made ugly by sin. He's going to be speaking to us about how we can shine like lights in a dark place. Alas, we all know that too often the church has blended in with the darkness. But Paul tells us it doesn't have to be that way. Listen to his words as he begins this section. Philippians chapter 2 and verses 12 and 13. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. How do we shine like a light in a dark world? Simply by living out our salvation. And what does that look like? Well, it looks like Jesus. Paul has been saying earlier in this chapter in verse 5 that we should have the same mindset as our Lord Jesus Christ. And then in the following verses, verses 6 to 11, he's shown us what Christ was like, what our Lord Jesus actually did. And now in verse 12, he says, therefore live this way. And because every knee will bow to the Lord Jesus Christ, don't give up. Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Now, don't misunderstand Paul when he talks about working out our salvation. He's not telling us to earn our salvation. Paul isn't talking here about getting saved. He's telling us how saved people live. So it's not work for your salvation. Christ has already done that through his death on the cross, putting us back in a right relationship with God. We are saved. But now this salvation needs to be expressed in our lives. It needs to be worked out, not in the sense of figured out, like we might try to work out a mathematical problem, but it needs to be expressed. It needs to be made visible. Jesus did God's will, whatever the cost. He put others first. He surrendered his rights. He served the outcast, the unloved, the unwanted, the undeserving. And he did it with unfailing grace and compassion and love. That's not just the nature of the man, Jesus of Nazareth. That's the nature of Almighty God. And now, says Paul, let's see that expressed in your life. Oh, and by the way, not just some of the time, verse 12, not just, for example, when an apostle's looking over your shoulder. Uh, no, living like Jesus shouldn't depend on your circumstances. This is a thing you need to do day in, day out, whatever the weather, however you're feeling. What, we say? But Paul, what about coronavirus? What about lockdown? What about my job or my lack of a job? What about my financial struggles? What about my kids who are driving me up the wall yet again? Oh, yes, I know, says Paul. Circumstances are always changing. It's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? But you know, God's call on your life never changes. So live like Jesus all the time. <sighs> well, here's a white flag I prepared earlier. But Paul says, Ed, what are you doing? Get rid of that white flag. Ooh, very well then. Ed, your problem is, says Paul, you interrupt. You didn't let me finish what I'm saying. Work out your salvation for God is at work in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Oh. So I'm not on my own then? Of course you're not on your own, Ed. I wouldn't be telling you to do these things if it was all down to you and your own strength. That would be a complete waste of time. No, what Paul says here is that Christians are not the only ones who are at work. 
The God who worked in Jesus is at work in us. He creates in us the desire to do his will and he gives us the power to do it. And so step by step by step by step, he begins to transform us by the power of his Holy Spirit. You see, without the divine side, there could be no human side. God always works before us and with us, otherwise we would never be able to work. But since God is at work in our lives, we can go to work and we can begin to live like Jesus. So what simple act of service to someone else will you do today in imitation of Christ? Because that's how you will work out your salvation. That's how you will shine in a dark world. Let's pray. Father God, in the beautiful life of Jesus, we see your heart. Please go on working in us by your spirit so that we'll live that way too. For your glory's sake. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Bye for now.